What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. Now, if you guys followed the channel last Sunday on our news video, we promised you an unboxing and first look of EVGA's brand new Hadron Mini ITX Super Case. And with that said, I've got this bad boy right here to my left. Now, the unit that we're gonna be looking at today is the one that's meant for air cooling. At least it comes air cooled. What I mean is it doesn't come with water cooling inside. There's gonna be two units. This one, you can water cool as we'll show you when we get to it, but it doesn't come pre-configured with water cooling inside of it. The Hydro Edition, which we'll look at in about a week or two, actually comes with all the water cooling stuff already pre-installed. So with that said, let's jump in and let's see this Hadron and see if it gives us a hard on. All right, folks, so there's really not much this brown box packaging. I mean, it just has the EVGA logo, the name. The only important thing on it at all would probably be this right here, which actually describes, you know, in nomenclature what it is. But beyond that, there's not much to the box. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to flip my little knife out there and just go ahead and start taking this puppy out. Go ahead and make a nice clean slice down there. Make another slice right about here. And that should probably do it. We'll pop it open right there. A little bit more popping sounds there. So inside, we see we've got boxes within boxes. So there's multiple boxes. So let's go ahead and start taking stuff out of the top. Go ahead and just pull this stuff out. And then I'll check this at the cameraman, like so. Oh, destruction. Poor bastard. I hope he doesn't need surgery. Anyways, right here we have the accessories. We're going to go ahead and pop that open. You guys can see in here we have zip ties, power cable for the power supply, extra things for the fan, just more and more parts just for adding on stuff in there. And then plus we have the Hadron user's guide. That's right. Learn thy case. So let's go ahead and just set that stuff off to the side and let's take a look at the unit. This is not going to be very heavy for me to take out, so I can just very easily take this thing out and then I'll throw the case over the dog, whoa, where he bravely sits and does not even blink an eye. See, he's tough, that dog. All right, so let's go ahead and just take it out of all this little packaging here. Get it on out of there. Come on out of there. Come on out. Let's just take it out of there. All right, so here we go. Ba boom. So. This thing is 305 millimeters tall by 169 millimeters wide. You guys can see it's got a nice window here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the window right off, right off the bat. Looks like there are three screws. And you guys can see I had no problem with these at all. I just pulled them off gently. One rolled actually underneath the case because it's a roly poly. Go ahead and pull that off. No problem at all. Side window. So you guys can see. Now, inside, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but right here is actually a gold certified 500 watt power supply. Now, a lot of you folks might say, hey, a 500 watt power supply is not a lot, but it's perfect for a single video card. You're not going to really want to be able to fit too much in here. Now, you guys can see when you install your board or whatever, you will have room for a full size video card. You've got bays right here for your hard drives and stuff. Here are all your accessory cables that are gonna hook up to your motherboard and everything. Now this thing's totally mini ITX, but it's cool because up on top up here, you've got two fans and I can't really show you this because I'd have to disassemble the entire dang thing. So I'm gonna try to angle it right here and hopefully the camera can get inside there. So right now this comes with two air fans, but if you wanted to, you could pull those fans out and put in a water cooling solution. And that's what these two little holes back here that I'm finger fracking with are for. Little water cooler tubes come back through here, and then you're going to have your rear I.O. right here, your power supply back here, your power for your power supply. On the back side of the case, there's nothing really at all, and this isn't removable at all. So Rodney Reynolds, he'd freak out, you know, no motherboard tray, and he'd be all mad at that. We love you, Rodney, just giving you a hard time, brother. So that's pretty much that. That's the back of it. Now let's flip it around and let's show you guys the front, which really looks nice. I mean, it's very elegant looking, doesn't open or anything has a simple power button. It's going to light up. Here on top, we have the name, the Hadron. You guys can clearly see it's got the old Hadron name right there. All right, folks, now let's just transition back one more time to this side. Now, up here on top, you're going to see a little button right here. This is actually the eject button for a Simline CD player that you can install inside the case. I have to take the whole thing apart to show you, but basically right behind this is a place where you can install the Slimline CD. It ejects right out here, and this is that eject button. Don't see anything else too fancy there. Nope. So down here we have the headphone microphone jack. And then finally we have the external USB 
And these go in line with this little cable right here I showed you earlier, which you're gonna plug into the USB 3.0 port on your motherboard. Very easy stuff. Now on the bottom, there's not much to the bottom whatsoever. You've got a riser right here. There's really no fans or anything on here because the power supply is there. And the fan for the power supply is actually located here on the back. So there's gonna be no fans sucking anything up into your case to mess anything up. So that's it folks. The little badass ITX bad boy called the Hadron. Now you guys can see this thing's really awesome. Has lots of features for a case that's so small. It's easily able to travel around places and with that window, you can do all kinds of mods and show off your Shiznik inside this case. So I think it's a really cool thing. I think a lot of users out there are gonna wanna emulate this and make a system out of this case just like we are. If so, hey, we're looking forward to it. If you guys would like any more information about this case, you guys can see that down there below the like button in the description. We'll have all the information about this case, where you can buy it, all those little fun facts and stuff like that. So with that said, I'm Elric. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.